G'day, Ralph Schwartz. Welcome to Geoterex Outdoors Australia. I've, uh, I've been shopping again and I thought I'd share. I went to my local Anaconda here in Canberra and, uh, and bought myself uh, a fantastic little pack. What I have here is a Spinifex camping set, seven piece camping set. And I'm really thrilled actually, because it didn't have survival pack or um, tactical pack or something like that. It's just a camping pack. And I thought I'd share it with you and we'll have a look and see what's in it. All right, top left, we have a little hanging, little hanging lamp, a cool little arrangement there. You could possibly put that on a on a rope. What, I, what I'm loving about this pack is that the batteries are included, which is so incredibly convenient, and it's quite quite uh, quite a great little feature. Wow. So it's a three setting light, high, medium, and red, so you don't lose your night vision. That's a great little feature. Let's, um, let's put that over here. Second battery operated gadget. Is a little headlamp, same thing, three batteries. So these three lots of three or nine batteries will presumably power the whole set. Doesn't appear to be waterproof, but it's got a little it's got a little O-ring, not quite sure, not quite an O-ring, but it's a it's a bit of plastic and there's nothing in there. Or is that a pit? No, nothing. All right, let's see what settings we have here. One, so high, medium, and red, and red flashing. Wow. Oh, spooky. Cool. Let's put that there. And presumably, this tiny little Spinifex branded torch is going to take the other three triple A cell batteries. I think I'm right, go to the top of the class. Yep, so I'll put those in. One, no, it's only got one setting, single setting. That's really cool. Okay, it's not great bright. It's not gonna light up a blossom in a tree, but Hey, three lots of light, and yeah, I'll say that that's a, a great feature. We also have a, a, looks like steel, or aluminium, brushed aluminium cup, um, with a brushed aluminium or steel in the inside, could be stainless, and I don't want to take it out, but it's also got a, a, a lid with an O-ring and that is fantastic and a little mouthpiece depending on which hand you want to use it in left and right it's interchangeable and a little breathe hole there that's not doesn't hold much but hey it's uh, it's in the set there's also a little paracord bracelet seen lots of survival survival channels have these and it seems to be if you have one of these you can survive I don't know what we're surviving and I don't know for how long and I don't know how many people but hey on its own this is this is great there's quite a few meters of paracord there and they've had they've heat sealed the ends unfortunately I can't show you 
what uh, paracord is made up made of from there we also have a great little five litre dry bag so if you're thinking if you're in Australia and you know goon this is a just a just 25 percent more than a goon sack worth of dry storage and if you've never seen these before what you do is you put your stuff in I'll get to this little fella later because we we know him and you you roll down the top now with this many folds four or five folds we're presuming or we're un, on the understanding that those folds are going to make that pretty much impervious to water and no water is going to go through five layers or actually ten layers this is great for when you're going and the weather's going to be questionable when you're going cycling long longer distances and you may get caught out definitely kayaking i've got probably a dozen dry packs for kayaking and they're fantastic the fact that they've put them in a little spot like that great feature ah hello old friend i don't know if you remember the video i did a little while back on the survival knife i got from wish this was a uh, seven in one and what it gave us was uh, was a straight blade, which has got a nice little tip on it, you know, to save uh, save cutting. A serrated edge. We don't have a can opener here, but we do have. Oh no, I don't know what that's for. Interesting. All right, I'm just having a bit of a look. So we've got one, two which is a, a striker especially for for windows windshields those sorts of things we've got a belt lopper or a belt blade where you can rip through you can go in there and rip through a or cut through sorry a, a, a cut through a seat belt we have a striker which I'll show you in a sec once I get my fry pan and a little torch now there weren't any batteries for the torch unfortunately and at least it tells you oh it tells you what type well it tells you that you need four of them it doesn't tell you what type again let's see if the packaging has got any instructions on them but as with the one I got from Wish this isn't a particularly great feature because it, uh, it has a little has a little magnetic like a little magnet there but it doesn't like to sit in there so in, in any sort of any sort of use it could pop out quite easily hang on a sec have the you know, fry pan and presuming up here okay that's not oh yeah a couple of sparkles be good for new year's eve Yeah, that's that's giving a good a good spark, but leaving quite a bit of the rod behind. Yeah, okay. So there's the there's the lock for the blade, and I still don't know what this is. Aha! Okay, that allows the blade to be opened. That's a little spring release, and the blade can't be opened um, by mistake. So you need to pull that down, open the blade, it doesn't do anything to lock it away. That mechanism there locks the blade in place. And um, yeah, there you go. So let's call this a six in one in spin effects. Now both of these packs were on special. Now both of these packs, I've got two, two different ones. But they were both on special for the grand fee of grand price of seventy nine ninety five. So whoever I give this to for Christmas, you you got to know that I really like you. All right, so let's see if this is value for money. If you look at uh, the cost of the individual components, um, let's have a look at this. This was twenty something dollars on Wish. 
um, and this is a, a better model so let's call that 25 bucks worth these sell from anywhere between 5 and 20 bucks and by the way this also has a pretty poor whistle but hey if you feel like whistling along to the tunes you can that they can sell for anywhere between five and and twenty bucks this here is ten fifteen dollars worth it's probably less it's it's a stocking filler so tw tw um, 25 let's let's give this 15 40 bucks 50 little torch ten dollars sixty a lamp five dollars sixty five and a cup Oh, let's, with, a, with a metal inside, let's give that 15. So there's 80 plus the, the waterproof bag, the dry bag, anywhere between 10 and $25, but something this good quality. But that's, that's close to $100 worth, either way of $100 for uh, $80 for $79.95. Um, I think that represents pretty good value for money. Tell me what you think, if you agree. I'm not going to bother doing a review on this because a torch is a torch whether it's in the bush or in the workshop and so is all the other stuff. I think this is a great little present. So in my usual in my usual videos I I, uh, I try to rate these these packs out of all these knives or whatever equipment I'm I'm reviewing out of 5 and the fact is, I, I, I'd simply, I just don't know what, what this is, how to rate this. This, look, there's definitely not serious camping gear here. Look, it's some accessories. That's really 12 piece, uh, seven piece camping set. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's not a serious camping kit it's just some accessories like let's call it for what it is and for eighty dollars I think um, maybe it's worth it maybe not I you know we've we've sort of added the the value up but to give it a score out of five I'm sort of looking at this and saying um, for eighty dollars value for money it's it's okay but uh, as far as quality and build goes I'm uh, I'm going to give it I'm going to give it a, a two and a half out of five. That's, yep, two and a half out of five. So let's call that a pass and let's, uh, let's just leave it at that. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it with like-minded friends. Please give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I'd love to read your comments. And please subscribe, really important. We're going for 2021, uh, 2021 subscribers by the end of 2021. Let's hope that we can achieve that. So uh, thanks for watching.